Hi guys, Jared here. And uh, today's video is going to be a nice little one um, talking about E3 this year. Um, I'm kind of curious to hear what you guys are excited about in the uh, coming days. We have just a few more, uh, we only have a few more days. As of Monday, we'll have all of the, um, the big Microsoft and uh, Sony news. And then Tuesday morning, we'll have all of the uh, big Nintendo news. So I'm kind of curious to hear what you guys are really looking forward to, um, what's got you all riled up. Um, for me, personally, uh, for Microsoft, I'm a little bit sour on them right now, just because of all those restrictions with the, um, with the Xbox One. I'm not, you know, I'm not overly excited about uh, what they have to offer, but... You know, the journalist inside me is trying to say, like, okay, you know, you got to remain neutral. So, um, I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see. They said they had 15 new titles that they were going to show for the Xbox One. We've already seen some of them. Um, so, I'm kind of curious to see what, what else they have to offer. And I'm really kind of curious to see how they're going to try and sway the, uh, the popular opinion back in their in their corner. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to do this. They even went so far as to cancel their post-conference question and answer session primarily because they don't want to have to deal with this, especially with the mainstream press like uh, all around. They just want to probably talk games, 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 um, game features, probably new Xbox Live stuff, things like that. I don't think you're going to see much about entertainment and what have you at, uh, at E3. I'd be very surprised if you do. Um, for Sony, Riding on the wave of The Last of Us success, um, kind of curious to see what they're going to do. They have so many studios that we haven't seen anything of or even been teased at. For example, what is what are Naughty Dog working on? What is um, uh, the Santa Monica studio? What about all the other studios that they have? They have tons and tons of studios that we don't know what the heck they're working on. And it's clear they're working on PlayStation 4 software, but what? Uh, the big one for me is with Naughty Dog. I just, I really, really am a big fan of uh, that developer. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping it's not Uncharted 4, just because The Last of Us is, was so good that uh, I would love to see them, like, introduce a brand new IP on the PlayStation 4. I think that would be awesome. However, uh, in terms of business, sheer business, it would be far more logical for them to pump out uh, another Uncharted because it's one of the biggest sellers, one of the biggest selling franchises on the uh, the PlayStation 3. It would only make sense for them to uh, go ahead and release that on the PlayStation 4. So we'll see. I uh, really want to see the box, really want to see um, some pricing points for both the Xbox One and the uh, PlayStation 3, but they may hold off on that until like uh, a little bit later on in the year. Uh, I would really like a, a release date too, it would be nice to know, so I can go and uh, start pre-ordering uh, this. these two boxes, would be good. Uh, don't have much of a choice. Uh, in this situation, just so you know, I always buy all the consoles anyways, because uh, developers send us games for everything, so... Uh, not developers, but publishers. So we try and cover, you know, as much as we possibly can. Um, yeah, so that's that for uh, Sony, more or less. Uh, really would like to see about the Vita. Um, to be really honest, Guacamele was the last title I played on it, and um, there hasn't been much. So I'd really like to see what everyone is working on with uh, the Vita. And then for Nintendo, um, we just got that 3DS uh, special video uh, where they announced The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, well, Part 2, I guess you'd call it for now. Um, I'd really like to see more of that game, and I'd just like to see if there's anything else coming on the 3DS. It already has so many great games, and there's already so many great games in the pipeline, so I don't even know what else they could possibly tease. But, <clears throat> excuse me, anything uh, would be great. And for the Wii U, that's the big one. This little uh, monster right here, we haven't seen um, we haven't seen much from this little guy, so um, I would very much like to see what their um, what Nintendo is working on. Um, we know that there's going to be new Smash Brothers. We know there's going to be a 3D Mario, things like that. Uh, we know that there's the Wind Waker HD um, remake and, and what have you. But I'd really like to see Nintendo come out very strong, especially um, you know what. We all find so funny here. 
uh, is the fact, especially at COE, we find this hilarious that, you know, we've been talking, saying that, you know, we expect that our game time would be the least on the Wii U. But now with all these Xbox One restrictions and the fact that we don't know what Sony is doing, imagine if Sony has the exact same restrictions as the, um, as the Xbox One and Microsoft does. It's hilarious because I'll probably end up using my Wii U more so than anything else. And that's so odd because I never, ever expected that. But um, anyways, yeah, so those are uh, pretty much, that's, those are the things that I'm looking forward to. But what about you? What are you guys looking forward to for E3 2013? Um, leave a comment below and uh, I'd love to hear uh, what, you guys, uh, what you guys are excited about, what you're looking forward to. And uh, over the next couple of days, pretty much is all I'm going to be talking about is all the different news that gets announced, my thoughts and feelings on them, and uh, then posing it back to you and asking you uh, what you thought and what you think. So that's it. Um, hope you enjoy the fun little E3 ride we're about to take. I think it's going to be uh, very, very interesting. It's such an exciting time for gamers all over the world. It's going to be awesome.